YouTube opinionative review ahead and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to speed up your HP touchpad by overclocking the processor. Now you can overclock the processor up to 1.5 gigahertz, 1.7 gigahertz or even 1.9 gigahertz. I recommend 1.7 gigahertz because 1.9 gigahertz isn't really that stable but it's up to you it's a matter of preference whatever you want to do. Now out of the box the HP touchpad processor is uh, I think it's 1.2 gigahertz which isn't really slow but there's so much thing running in the background it slows down the device. I did a video just before to show you how to speed up your device without doing the overclocking process. You can check out that video, test that method out first, see if you like the speed before you test out this method. The only difference between the two methods is this method by overclocking, it voids your HP warranty and the other method do not void your HP warranty but I doubt any of us have HP warranty since they discontinued this product. So you can come over here, this is the post on my site, I already did the in-depth guide, as you can see it. I have an in-depth guide with pictures and step-by-step -step instructions, uh, I'm going to embed the video after I'm finished recording it and that's what I'm doing at the moment. So let's just jump into the video. You can come over and read here. You can see our uh, keynotes about overclocking your device. It's relatively safe to do. No, it doesn't affect your battery. Your device becomes a lot faster. No heat is created. You can overclock both of your cores and it works like a charm. So there's, there's a couple things you have to do before you jump into this. You have to update your device. Your device has to be on the latest firmware at this moment. The latest firmware is 3.0.2. So your device have to be on that firmware. So if you haven't updated or you don't know how to update, link in the description to an in-depth guide and tutorial you guys already know. So check that out. It's actually step one. You can click this and it's going to take you to the guide showing you how to update. If you know how to update then skip over that. Secondly, you're going to have to have pre-wear installed on your device. I did a tutorial on that also. You can click this, click here as it says visit this post and it's going to show you how to install pre-wear on your device. If you already have those two things done, then you're already ahead of the game. So let's just jump right into the third step. So the third step what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our HP touchpad. And we're going to open up Preware. So we're going to open up Preware. I have it already opened up. I have it here. But normally you would go into the settings. And then you're going to go to downloads. And you're going to click it. It should be right there. If you did not remove it, I have it open. So we're going to go into that. We're going to open it. After Preware is open, we're going to go and we're going to install a patch. If you don't have this patch installed already, we're going to install this patch. And it's called Advanced Reset Options. And this... And this step is crucial because I was stuck for about 30 to 45 minutes yesterday trying to get this thing to work and it was not working because I was forcing a reboot instead of using that option because I didn't have this patch installed. So right here we're going to go, we're going to navigate to available packages, we're going to click patch and then we're going to click all and now we're going to go and we're going to look for advanced reset options you can scroll down and see if you find it or you can just search it up there i already found it right here advanced reset options you're going to click on it and now you're going to click install down to the bottom it's going to ask you to do a lunar restart which is basically a minor reboot you just click ok so after the device is finished booting back up now we're going to open up preware again and after Preware finish boots up, we're going to tap this drop down menu up in the upper left hand corner. You see it says Preware. We're going to tap that and it's going to drop down a little drop down menu. You're going to tap on Manage Feeds. So you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And here we have to add about two fields. It's actually three, but we're going to add two right now and then proceed. Now this step is also crucial you have to add them exactly as they are and they're on the guide the guide have them exactly how you have to add them so I'm gonna show you guys how to add one the guide also shows you how to add it but I'm gonna show you how to add it so I'm gonna add the first one here you gotta put in the name of the feed exactly as it is 
webos-testing-all and the URL is also in the guide this is the URL right here you have to also add this URL so you're gonna put the name like that web OS dash testing dash R and you're gonna make sure you put this URL right here you have to do it exactly as it is or you're gonna get an error and you have to do everything over so now you're gonna make sure that is compressed leave it as yes do not turn it off leave it as yes and then you're gonna hit add feed it's gonna give you a disclaimer message the disclaimer message is basically telling you that it's not responsible for anything that happens to your device so you're basically doing this at your own risk so it's up to you if you want to proceed or cancel if you want to proceed then you're gonna click OK I already have it installed so I'm gonna press cancel so after you click OK this is gonna disappear and then you have to go and add the next feed that's also on the guide proceed and add the next feed after you finish adding the next field that's two fields you have to add don't get confused it's two fields we're gonna go now and we're gonna navigate back scroll back up to the top and we're gonna navigate back And we're going to go back out to the main menu of Freeware. We're going to hit list everything right there. And we're going to look for governor. We're going to look for governor. So we're just going to search for it right here. You can scroll down and see if you find it. But I'm just going to search for it. It's G O V N A H. Governor. That's it right there. You're going to click on it. And I already have it installed, but it's going to say install for you. And then you're going to install it. Now, pay attention. After you finish installing Governor, you're going to have to reboot your device. And this is where that patch that I asked you to install earlier in step four, this is where it comes in handy. So after you install this, you're going to hold down the power button until you see the menu pop up until you see this menu up here and you're gonna hit device restart so after you finish installing governor hold on the power button until you see the menu and then you're gonna hit device restart I already have it installed so I'm not gonna do that after the device reboots launch preware again yes we're gonna launch preware again and it's gonna load it's gonna update the packages if you get an error then you did something incorrect if you don't get an error, then everything is running smoothly. So after Preware is finished with loading up packages, you're going to click on list everything. And now we're going to search for F15C Eagle bracket touchpad close bracket. So this is what you're going to search for right here. If you don't see it there, you can search for it up here. It's F15C Eagle and that's it. So you're going to tap on that. And then you're gonna say you're gonna hit install. It's gonna say install for you. So you're gonna hit install. And as soon as you finish installing that, you're gonna reboot your device again. Yes, you gotta reboot again. This this method is kind of long. So you're gonna reboot your device again after you finish installing that. Hold down the power button once again, and then you're gonna tap on device restart again. After your device restarts, you're basically home free. That's basically it. Your device is now overclocked. Now all we have to do now is set governor. So governor, that package that I asked you to install, it should be inside downloads. I don't have it, I have it in favorite. So you're gonna launch governor after your device reboots. And I'm gonna show you how to overclock your both processors because after you do this, only one processor is gonna be overclocking. And I'm gonna show you how to make both of them overclock. So you're gonna come in the governor, you're gonna hit unknown you're gonna hit profile right there you just tap on profile and then gonna tap on advanced settings now the if you don't know what you're doing you're not supposed to screw around with advanced settings but luckily I'm gonna show you guys what you need to do so all you gotta do is come in here and where you see it says governor you're gonna tap that and then you're gonna change it from it should be on on demand TCL you're gonna change it to uh, just on demand so you're just gonna tap on demand and then here you're gonna change this here is where you can set the maximum you want your processor to go up to so I have mine at 1.7 and that's what I recommend you can change it to 1.8 or even 1.9 once again 1.9 is not stable I'm not too sure about 1.8 I recommend staying on 1.7 you're gonna tap whichever one you want 
and I don't know about all of these, so just don't screw around with anything else, just those first two. Then you're going to tap on Apply Settings. After you finish with that, now your device boat cores should be working and boat cores should be overclocked to whichever setting you pick, whether it's 1.5, 1.7, etc, etc. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This video has been super long. I'm, I'm actually kind of tired for making this video, but yeah, that's how to speed up your device by overclocking. If you guys have any questions, just ask me in the description. You know I answer almost all the questions, if not all the questions. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.